Hello and welcome back. This is Rebecca from thecopperkilt.com. So I thought I might do something a little bit different and share with you my vision board for our farmhouse. I always use um, Pinterest to make vision boards to collect my ideas together and get some inspiration. It's a wonderful way to, to make collages and formulate your ideas by theme. For example, here I have a board for the front door and the shutters. So I sort of collected together all the different door colors that I like and colors for the shutters. So I'll start with the entryway because that's always the first impression of someone's home. Um, for the entryway I really want something sort of old worldy but elegant. So here um, because we have this beautiful wooden staircase in the hallway I really want to make this the focal point as you come through the door and because we brought down the partition wall it's easy to imagine how I could do this now. It's easy to imagine how this space could look. So keeping the wall colors very bright and neutral, perhaps painting the risers like in this picture, and adding in period furniture to bring, uh, to bring more soul to the home. And I love the idea of using natural materials such as this glass lamp and definitely keeping the old worldy vibe um, but I have to keep in mind that the, the hallway is quite small, so I need to choose small pieces of furniture. Um, but chandeliers are very easy to come by here in France. So next is the kitchen. And I don't know if you remember from my last videos, but this is going to be a huge challenge. This room really needs um, a lot of work. But looking past the walls and the floor that need to be replaced and repaired, I really want to look at using some of the features that are already in this room. This is a verrier, which is used to, to hide um, extractor fans and pipes. I want to keep that because that can actually look quite nice once it's redone, repainted. And I also want to look at the floors and maybe give them a darker stain. I like the idea of the kitchen being more rustic than the rest of the house because it, because it is the most functional room in the house. So I love this idea of using old tables to make functional pieces of furniture for the kitchen. This beautiful stormy blue is a colour I definitely want to incorporate into the room and I really look forward to the day when I can hang my own copper art on the walls. So moving on now to the living room, this is a room where I really need to focus on comfort. Although the room isn't tiny, I still need to be careful about the colours that I choose for this room. I think I need to keep the colours neutral and bright to bounce around the light that comes in from this window. So I love the idea of a, a sort of a light grey or a linen colour and after that I can add in colour through the furnishings, the soft furnishings as well. The floor, I would like to keep the same tone as in the kitchen, a dark tone, I think it's very earthy. And then I'll add in traditional lighting, such as the chandeliers that are so easy to come by here in France. I love copper, so I love the sort of hammered copper look. I definitely want to add copper in, in different ways into the house. And obviously finishing off the room with a beautiful molding. So on now to the master bedroom. This is another room where I really need to focus on comfort, but it also needs to be a very restful space. This room is also going to double up as an office space for me. So it really needs to be a room that is very bright and simple and uncluttered so that I can concentrate on what I'm doing. So I really love the vibes in this photo. It's very welcoming, it's very relaxing and so it would need a colour that was bright and airy and I love soft flowing curtains and plants and then adding in colour with the furniture perhaps and the artworks. 
These upholstered beds are just to die for and they can be found second hand online. But we'll have to see. For my son's room, the style will be quite personal to him. He is a teenager, so I will have to respect his wishes. So I'll definitely keep the wall colors quite neutral. That way it can evolve with him as he gets older. Um, it's a good size room with a lot of light, but still I want to put sort of a light, bright color on the walls. I don't think I could get away with anything darker. He mixes musical compositions and so his desk really needs to be uh, an important feature in his bedroom. Obviously then he'll also need a fold-out chair for overnight guests for his friends and then I love the idea of adding in these little features for his clothing. Contrary to my own tastes, he has quite modern tastes, very simple lines and then he wants to personalize the room with um, musical themed wall art. So on to the bathroom. This room is also going to be a little challenging because it's quite a small room so I really need to be mindful of the size of the shower for example. It has to be a curved shower so that we don't stub toes and ankles and the sink also needs to be quite small and I need to keep the colours on the walls very bright once again. So for example this little wash hand basin is very neat and compact and because of the neutral colours on the walls, I like the idea of adding colour in through the tiles and the fixtures. I really like metal features, so maybe a lot of brass or gold colours, maybe even copper again. And with such a large window, I really need to look at adding something that will bring us some privacy. So although it is not one of the first things we're going to be looking at, I did want to think a little bit about the outside. So at the moment the house is yellow, and which is not really a colour that I like on the front of the house. So I love the idea of brightening it up and adding in colour through the shutters rather than the, pa the paint colour on the walls. So I love this stormy blue for the shutters. Um, I think that would really make the house pop. With steps going up to the front door, outside lighting will be really important. And as with all houses in this area of France, outside dining is a must. So there are some other little touches that I'd like to make to the house here and there. I love the idea of these ceiling roses. I'd actually love to make one myself out of copper. And these old style mirrors are really beautiful. I hope to find one in a, in a brocante, which is a, a second hand store. And also I love the idea of gilding on wood. And of course my own art is going to feature prominently throughout the house, as well as other art prints that I really love and um, an art that, that evokes a feeling such as this old painting and uh, anything that's really handmade and art in relief I absolutely adore. So while this video is a little premature we're not there yet I don't think there's any harm in being forward thinking and I thank you for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you the next time.